Hi, this is Hank. Not here at the moment. You can leave a message if that's what turns you on, but don't expect me to call back. Beep. Whatever. Lieutenant Anderson, this is Connor. I'm the android sent by CyberLife. It's almost noon, and I'm waiting for you at the office. It's good to see you again, Lieutenant. Oh, Jesus. Hank! In my office! I've got ten new cases involving androids on my desk every day. We've always had isolated incidents. Old ladies losing their android maids and that kind of crap. But now, we're getting reports of assaults and even homicide, like that guy last night. This isn't just CyberLife's problem anymore. It's now a criminal investigation, and we've got to deal with it before the shit hits the fan. I want you to investigate these cases and see if there's any link. Why me? Why do I got to be the one to deal with this shit? I am the least qualified cop in the country to handle this case. I know jack shit about androids, Jeffrey. I can barely change the settings on my own phone. Everybody's overloaded. I think you're perfectly qualified for this type of investigation. Bullshit! The truth is, nobody wants to investigate these fucking androids, and you let me hold in the bag. CyberLife sent over this android to help with the investigation. It's a state-of-the-art prototype. It'll act as your partner. No fucking way! I don't need a partner, and certainly not this plastic prick. Hank, you are seriously starting to piss me off. You are a police lieutenant. You are supposed to do what I say and shut your goddamn mouth. You know what my goddamn mouth has to say to you? Okay, huh? okay. I'll pretend like I didn't hear that. So I don't have to add any more pages to your disciplinary folder, because it already looks like a fucking novel. This conversation is over. Jeffrey, Jesus Christ, why are you doing this to me? You know how much I hate these fucking things. Why are you doing this to me? Listen. I've had just about enough of your bitch. Either you do your job or you hand in your badge. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got work to do. I wonder whether Lieutenant Anderson is really the best person for this investigation. Hey, I don't need a machine to tell me how to handle my men, okay? So get the fuck out of my office. Have a nice day, Captain.
It's an honor to be working with you, Lieutenant. I'm sure we'll make a great team. Now that we're partners, it would be great to get to know each other better. In any case, I'd like you to know I'm very happy to be working with you. I'm sure we'll make a great team. Is there a desk anywhere I could use? No one's using that one. A lot of people don't appreciate having androids around. I was wondering, is there any reason in particular you despise me? Yeah, there is one. You have a dog, right? How do you know that? The dog hairs on your chair. I like dogs. What's your dog's name? What's it to you? Sumo. I call him Sumo. You're a Detroit Gears fan, right? Denton Carter scored 53% of his shots from the three-point line yesterday. Did you see the game? That's what I was watching at the bar last night. Oh. Do you listen to Knights of the Black Death? I really like that music. It's full of energy. You listen to heavy metal? Well, I don't really listen to music as such, but I'd like to. If you have any files on Deviants, I'd like to take a look at them. Terminal's on your desk. Knock yourself out. Two hundred and forty-three files. First dates back nine months. It all started in Detroit and quickly spread across the country. An AX-400 is reported to have assaulted a man last night. That could be a good starting point for our investigation. shouldn't let your personal situation hamper the investigation, Lieutenant. You don't know what the hell you're talking about. So why don't you just run your program and shut the fuck up? I suggest you sort out your personal issues and let me work with someone more competent. Listen, asshole. If it was up to me, I'd throw the lot of you in a dumpster and set a match to it. So stop pissing me off. Or things are gonna get nasty. Lieutenant? Uh, sorry to disturb you. I have some information on the AX-400 that attacked the guy last night. It's been seen in the Ravendale district. I'm on it.
Alice. Wake up, Alice. So it wasn't a nightmare. No. No, it wasn't a nightmare. How do you feel? I'm cold. What are we gonna do now? That android we saw yesterday, he gave me an address. He said we could get help there. The train passes just on the other side of the road. The station can't be far. You feel okay to walk a little? Let's go then. like a human now. The police are on our trail. All right. That's all for now. Here you go. We've got officers sweeping the neighborhood in case anybody saw anything. Okay, well, let me know if they turn anything up. What are you gonna do with that? I have no idea. It took the first bus that came along and stayed at the end of the line. Its decision wasn't planned. It was driven by fear. Androids don't feel fear. Deviants do. They get overwhelmed by their emotions and make irrational decisions. All right, well, that still doesn't tell us where it went. It didn't have a plan, and it had nowhere to go. Maybe it didn't go far. Maybe. Fuck, that's them. Hey, stop! Police! We saw them headed for the train station. Oh, 
fuck? That's insane. Yourself killed. Carver, god damn it. Several sources report that CyberLife has provided Detroit police with a prototype detective android. Although police assistant androids have...